Chapter 7, The Great Tree War. We return to Earth 508 million years after its creation, and life is flourishing. Hundreds of different species live in harmony, all faithful to their creator and lord, the Holy Summon. Unfortunately, this is the day that everything begins to change. One lone seagrass is about to undertake the greatest evolutionary leap since the evolution of seagrass itself. The seagrass has begun sprouting separate branches, transforming its kelpie stem into a more solid bark. It also, after pure coincidence, evolved eyes and a mouth and became fully conscious. It became the first tree. This was not an issue for the sea life at first, it was just another species to add to the ever-growing list. But as more and more trees started sprouting up, they were overcrowding the oceans. After a thousand years, the Holy Salmon decided enough was enough, and declared war on the trees. This would have been an easy battle given the Holy Salmon's power. However, at this point there were billions and billions of trees all over the ocean, and the first tree had grown to an enormous scale, resulting in it gaining much power. The Holy Salmon would need to play smart to win this war. He formed a plan to create these tiny creatures called worms to go underground and remove the tree's roots from the soil, then easily knock them over. The Holy Salmon begin creating hundreds of billions of worms and sending them underground to find a single route to attack. While the Great Tree was busy fighting the war above, they were unknowing of what was going on below. After all of the worms were in position, the Holy Salmon gave the word, and all of the worms began removing the roots from the soil. Without knowing what hit them, all of the trees fell over simultaneously. The Holy Salmon approached the Great Tree and told him he had two choices. Either devolve back into seagrass or move to the surface and never return. The Great Tree chose the latter, and in one great migration movement all of the trees rolled up onto every landmass on Earth and peace was once again brought to the planet. The Great Tree, seeing the state of the surface, decided that it was too dark and too cold on the surface, given the lack of any sun, uh, and so the Great Tree decided to install natural light sources all across the planet's surface.